Hi, this is Chris, and today I'm up in Montana, and I'm in front of, or with, the world-famous Chief Cliff Stone. And you can see some of these pieces are extremely large, but like any rock material, it comes in smaller sizes. This is a typical pool-sized building boulder here. You have slab pieces, you have block pieces, have enormous slab pieces where you can see that as the stone form you have the sedimentary layer developing here leaving this wavy surface as the water dried out and the stone began to set this stone does not leach iron that's a really good cool water stone there are many stones that have these colors that can leach iron into the pool. Chief Cliff doesn't. And you can see there's an enormous supply of this stone. It's reasonably priced. I mean, it takes an enormous expense to bring this stone down out of the mountain and harvest it and get it ready and separated. But even then, it's still very reasonably priced. And you can see the many different sizes. We have a lot of photographs we've taken. Over here you see we've got sizes that are more commonly used in smaller residential landscape works. These are easily handled by two and three person crews, either manual labor or small equipment. Many of these stones feature fossilized remains of leaf, of uh, plant material. So, so I think there's some slabs over here. Yeah, there's some beautiful slab pieces that you can use to make natural bridges and waterfall features. You know, pieces that are 10 feet long. I've been told there's some really awesome pieces that are 12, 14, 16 feet long in here and 4 to 8 feet wide. So, Chief Cliff Stone from Montana.